Stanark shares of Novavax have been fairly range bound over the past six months, around $4.50 a share. But your stock's moving a little bit higher today on positive news about an avian flu vaccine. Is this enough to take Novavax much higher? Well, thanks for asking the question. Novavax uh, develops several vaccines, uh, one of which is the avian flu vaccine. We've, we've reported data on probably the world's best data on a new emerging virus called H7N9. But uh, what will take the stock higher probably is the work we're doing with RSV. RSV is the respiratory syncytial virus, is the largest cause of hospitalization of children under two years old globally. And so we have the leading vaccine in the world. People have been working on RSV vaccines for 50 years. We made a breakthrough a couple years ago. We have uh, phase two projects to vaccinate uh, pregnant women to protect the newest born uh, kids on an annual seasonal vaccine for RSV and the elderly, just like a flu vaccine. And what are the sizes of these respective markets? Because right now, most of your business is with the government. You announced that you're extending your deal with the Department of Health and Human Services. Let's talk about what we can do outside the government. So, so RSV vaccine represents probably the largest vaccine market opportunity that exists, bigger than uh, Pfizer's Prevnar, uh, again, because it's the largest cause of hospitalization. It's a global threat, um, and it is a threat to the elderly, which is uh, so we, we have done some market research shown that the economic uh, cost of RSV at the very narrowest sense in terms of hospitalizations and doctor's visits is well over $5 billion just in the United States. And talk about that government deal because you are extending it. Yes. So we've been working with the government uh, because they like our technology because we can not only make a vaccine in uh, cells, which most vaccines are made in eggs and the government prefers cell-based vaccines, we can make a vaccine that's a particle that's very immunogenic. We can make it at low doses. And importantly, we can make it faster than everybody else. Last year, when the H7N9 uh, virus started circulating, we went from the identification of that virus gene sequence to human trials in 90 days. Nobody else can do that. So, so for emerging viruses, whether it be H7N9, whether it be for MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or for that matter, Ebola, uh, we have the ability to make these vaccines very quickly. And then finally, you have about $210 million in cash. How do you plan to spend that? Because this is a good chance for Novavax really to take off. You've been around about two decades. What do you do with this cash to, to further your growth prospects? So we raise the cash to allow us to maintain control of our products. And that's the way we stay ahead of the competition. And we convinced investors that this was a good place to invest in because we can maintain control over the projects. Uh, and now we're getting into later stage, phase twos. We're getting into phase three trials and two or three programs by the end of next year. And they get very expensive. And so, but, but we control all the economics and all the development time cycles. Thanks a lot, Stan. Thank you.